Hello everyone. Just recently I discovered that the City of Calgary has been running a campaign to replace the classic sodium uh, street lights with uh, LED based ones. And I thought about that for about five nanoseconds before realizing that hey it's a great idea. And it's something I probably encountered in the news at some point, but it didn't leave much impression. Probably because I thought about it for the same five nanoseconds and went, hey, that's a great idea. Uh, the whole point of it is that it's supposed to save the city quite a large amount in operational expenses related to the streetlights because they'll use substantially less electricity and they'll need substantially less maintenance because they'll have to be replaced a lot less often. And that's believable. Uh, uh, LEDs definitely take less power for the same equivalent light. Uh, and the fact that you're going to have multiple point sources, multiple LEDs in one of those installations means that if one fails, you don't have a total blackout on all of them and you can still have power and light, or, or rather light, coming out of the fixture and you don't end up going, you don't end up having an all or nothing light or dark situation. Now the city's been using LED uh, traffic lights uh, in a lot of cases for quite a long time. And that's actually worked out pretty well. Oftentimes they're brighter and easier to see, uh, amazingly. So uh, it's... Uh, it's not something that the city's new to. They, they know something about the LED lights. One of the questions that does come up though is why didn't they do it before now? Well, it turns out that the cost was prohibitive previously. Uh, getting LED lights with proper performance that you could install as street lights was very expensive until recently. And it was so expensive that there wasn't really a good payback horizon for it. Now though, over the past few years, the cost of LED lighting has gone way down. And availability has gone way up uh, in the consumer side of things. And that certainly can't be harming the industrial grade lighting uh, uh, supplies either. Because the technology is basically the same. So. The city has been working through this for a while now, and it's uh, and they've hit my neighborhood, and I've actually noticed the difference. Historically, the street light would give off enough light uh, to the sides that I'd be able to see what I was doing in the alley behind my house under ordinary nighttime conditions, like no fog and what have you. That meant that there was quite a lot of waste light coming off the street lights that wasn't going to light the streets or the sidewalks. And it makes you wonder why, like why do you need that light off to the side like that? No, well, you really don't. But because you have spacing between the street lights and you need a little bit of light between them, they had to have a wide radiation pattern and uh, instead of putting directional uh, filters on them, which is expensive, they just let it radiate in all directions, which meant that you'd have bright light coming into your bedrooms and everything like that, much brighter than it needed to be. It also meant you'd have bright pools of light under the street lamp and fairly dark areas in between. Uh, so it meant that you'd, you'd need a closer spacing to get really good lighting. Uh, when it comes to the LED stuff, you can actually aim it better. You can, uh, you know, without having complicated, really complicated optics. And you're going to have to have a lens on it anyway, because you've got a massive collection of point sources that instead of one big radiating ball. So you're going to need something, a diffuser anyway. Well, uh... Now, with the new lights, it's almost pitch black in the alley at night. I, I, I went out a week or two back to uh, uh, have a challenge at the local Pokemon gym, and I figured I'd go down the alley, just avoid having to climb hills, and I couldn't see anything. I couldn't see my feet. 
I had to turn on the torch on my phone so that I could see the ground in front of my feet. And uh, so I didn't trip on the uneven gravel. And that was actually uh, quite an eye opener. Uh, is historically, I would have been able to see enough to make out the ground yeah, on a typical night. And on a foggy night, it would have been lit up almost like daytime, be just due to the scatter effect of the fog. And I imagine that effect will remain simply because the fog is still going to scatter the light. So after, after this, I noticed, uh, looking out while I was closing windows one night, that the street and the sidewalk are very well lit at night now, and they're fairly evenly lit for the whole length of it. There's a brighter spot directly under the street light, but it's well lit the whole length of it. You, it's much more evenly lit. The light quality is a little less fuzzy, so to speak. And you can actually see quite clearly what's going on on the street. Yet, just inside my property uh, on, in the front, you know, just my side of the sidewalk, it gets dark at ground level. And that's a really good thing, is now it's not lighting up my yard brightly it, and, the, and the back and the alleys and everything like that. It's lighting up the street where we actually want the light. That's the point of a street light. And I also noticed, looking across the uh, back from the second floor of my house, that the lights on the streets behind the house are much less prominent looking at them from the side or above. Yet those streets are also brightly lit, and those yards are still dark, uh, largely dark. And this is really nice. And then I looked out across the cityscape up onto the ridge, uh, going to the west, and I realized that all of those lights were a lot dimmer than they used to be. There was a lot less light out there. And I went, went, hey, we're actually doing something about the light pollution. So basically, not only do we have an economic saving from the lower electricity cost and less frequent replacement uh, being required, we have uh, less wasted light going into lighting up people's houses at night when they're trying to sleep. And we have less wasted light going up into the sky. So replacing all of these lights, these street lights that can be replaced, you know, the non-decorative ones and so on, that's going to substantially reduce the light footprint of the city. And I think that's a, a definite good thing in the long run. Not only does it have the environmental benefit from less electricity burned, it has an environmental benefit from less light going places where we don't actually need it. If we were to combine this with reducing the intensity of the street lights, say during the depth of night in residential areas or something like that, where they're not really needed, uh, we could get a substantial reduction on top of that in, uh, in uh, you know, electricity usage and light pollution. So this is a really good thing, and I think uh, for a relatively small thing to do, uh, because the city has to do their maintenance on the street lights anyway, uh, so the actual cost of doing this is more so going to be the material to replace the lights than the fact that they're actually replacing the lights. Um, for a relatively small uh, overall upfront cost, we'll get a payback fairly quickly and we'll have an environmental benefit, multiple environmental benefits. And we'll have improved safety because the lighting will be better on the streets. Now, you might be wondering if you've seen uh, some of these uh, street lighting schemes using LEDs with the bright blue-white uh, lights. That's not what the city's using. They're uh, more on the orange end, uh, like the sodium, uh, sodium lights, but they're uh, much nicer light quality. They're uh, uh, more even, 
and uh, I think overall it's just better light. You do get a bit of an eerie effect from the way shadows cast slightly oddly, but you know what? I can get used to that. And I can deal with not being able to see when I get out of my car when I come home in the middle of the night. Overall, it's a substantial improvement. So if we can get everywhere that uses streetlights any amount to do the same thing, well, we'll have a substantial overall net benefit to the planet. Anyway, that's all for this time. If you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.